Okay, welcome back, dear friends. Today, I'd like to continue our series of one hub. The virtual machine would be from box one. I'll put the link into the description section below so that you can download、uh, this image. Before we begin our today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's get started. To save the time, I have already imported this virtual machine into the virtual box. So now I'd like to walk into the virtual machine of Kali Linux. As you can see over here, I have already identified the IP address of virtual machine as two hundred and fifty-four. I also did the map scanning. I did like scene scan, the virtual scan, default script scan. I also did the comprehensive scan、uh, by specifying the dash p dash、uh, option. So as you can see、uh, from the、uh, map scanning results, the the four open ports. The first one is twenty one, which runs FTP, but we didn't get the. The version for the 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 for this FTP service, and the next one is twenty two, which runs SSH. Also, the version exact version information. Of course, as we know, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. And the next one is eighty, which runs HTTP. And the next one is for I think for some sort of the MySQL, but.、Uh, I think now what we are going to do is to do some iteration for the for the eighty port, right? So now let's open up our browser. Let's use the private window mode, and now we can input the IP address of the target or the virtual machine in this case. So we wait,、uh, we wait for the browser to load our homepage of the virtual machine, and I can tell you,、uh, for this virtual machine or the target, the two ways for us to get the initial for the hold. Of course, if you can,、uh, you have already done、uh, by other way, except I show you、uh, today. Please comment below. Thank you. So I think now, although we, uh, yeah, as you can see, the status of the, oh sorry, the address bar. When we,、uh, after we fill in the IP address of the virtual machine, the bar, the browser will re redirect automatically to this host name. Of course, we need to. Append this host name into the host file. Okay, I we can copy, and now we can use the vim and、uh, IP address and paste in here. Okay, now. I think we can refresh the page. Oh, not HTTPS, just、uh, HTTP. So as we scroll down, scroll down a bit, and、uh, this is running by or powered by WordPress. So of course, it would be very easy. To think or consider the next、uh, thing, what we need to do is to do the WordPress scan, right? And we can WordPress scan a URL, and we can copy the URL from the browser and paste in here. And we try to emulate the username and、uh, vulnerable plugin. Let's hit enter. Okay, very quick. 
we have already identified the user name, two user names, uh, the Ming and the Zhou. So of course now we can we can attempt to decrypt or crack the password for the user admin. Always the first user is administrator. And uh, next, I'd like to show you the first way or first method to get the foothold of the virtual machine. And we can specify the user name as admin. And the password, sorry, the word list for the password field, we can use the log queue list. Okay, very quick, retrieved the password for the user admin. Now we can log in as the admin, right? We can copy uh, this password and we can, of course, the directory for the administrator would be WordPress admin. And admin, and we can paste the password and log in. Remind me later. So uh, we have already successfully logged in as admin. The next objective for us is to try to upload the shell.php code, right? And the, the most common way is to, of course, we need to prepare uh, the shell.php code, and we need to make some modifications just to place, okay, change it to our Kali Linux, oh sorry, 206, and the port number, I always modify to my favorite port number, which is 555, okay, now write and quit, and we can cut the content of this file, and we can copy the whole whole part of this code up to yeah up to here and now we can go back to the portal and we go to the editor theme editor and we can remove the original code in the 404 template and we can paste in here and update the file, but uh, the the target return one error, unable to communicate back with the site to check for fatal errors. So maybe we cannot make use of this way to upload the or get the shell. Of course, it's okay, it's all right. We can try the second way. We can launch our Metasploit. Yeah, for a WordPress like uh, CTF, uh, this is my very normal procedure. If I cannot or fail to upload the shell code by the first way, and then I try this way. And we can search the admin. And we can use this module. Uh, sorry about the noise. And we can copy this module, name the full pass. And yeah, the payload has been configured. It's okay. And we can show options. And we can set the local host to our Kali Linux. And set the local port as 555. And also we need to set the hot. But in this case, we cannot configure the host to the IP address. We must configure this field to the host name. In this case, it's this one is this one we can copy yeah copy the host name and uh, paste in here okay we need to remove the prefix okay and uh, i think now it's okay of course we need to set the username 
admin and also need to set the password as yeah we have already cracked earlier maybe i need to make a note of our uh, password password maybe we can make a note yeah and uh, we can paste in here yeah now we can hit run okay yeah metaprat session opened it means that we successfully got the metaprat session and we can go to the shell and the id and we can make this to be more interactive okay so now okay so this is the first way i'd like to show you in this video to get foothold of the target and now before we uh, try to elevate our privilege uh, i show you i'd like to show you the second way to get foothold now we just keep the uh, this session here and open up another uh, tab and go to our working directory and uh, this time we still need to try to crack the password for the another user right and we can and uh, specify the the url and uh, this time the user name is joe and uh, the word list for the password is lock you okay i think it's well enough we have ready i hope i have already configured everything properly oh sorry <laughs> uh, word list and lock queue Yeah, very quick. We get the password for the user Joe. Of course, this password is very simple. And uh, so this user, uh, this user uh, uh, is the for uh, can be uh, use them to log in the WordPress uh, portal. But also maybe in this case, this user can be also uh, uh, for the for the for the for the SSH service. And of course, this is just a step, right? And we can try the SSH, uh, Joe. Or oh, we need to remove the cached keys first. And uh, now let's SSH again. And the password is one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, now we successfully log in as user Joe. Of course, the second way is not very common um, for most um, for most penetration uh, scenario. And but uh, this mm, yeah does work for this virtual machine. Anyway, I I have already uh, demonstrated the two ways to get for the hold of the of the virtual machine but i think the first way i i can i think we can uh, head over back to our uh the 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 share of the ww data because this is the uh, very normal uh very normal s um, scenario or situation uh, when we talk about um, how to get the foothold uh, dealing with the wordpress okay and now we can go to the home directory to do some basic immersion and go to the funny and here uh, some reminder remind reminder sh so hi joe the hidden backup sh we have already noticed this this shell script already uh, back up the entire web space on that and uh, yes so it means the uh, this 
th there's some sort of the chess script is being is executed regularly or in schedule by some users, for example, like a Joe or Funny. It doesn't matter. And also, as you can see, we uh, for this file, everyone has read, write, and execution privilege. So of course we can cut the uh, this this file. Okay, so now we can append the reverse shell command into this file, and then can get the shell uh, of another user. Yeah, maybe maybe funny or Joe or loot, maybe. And now we can open up another tab and go to the working directory, and we can set up the listener first. And this time we need to use different port number. And now we need to get the reverse shell command. I always uh, I cannot remember uh, such command. We just use the the online resource, right? Or instructions, the reverse. Reverse shell cheat sheet. Yeah, the pen test monkey. And we can copy this one. And uh, we can paste in the in the pad. And we can make some modification. And the port number should be 666. And we copy, make a copy of whole command and go back to our the shell and we can echo this command to back up. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, spawn another shell or new shell, right? And uh, we can wait uh, in this terminal uh, for the collection from the target. Yeah, we wait for some time. I'm not sure uh, which user uh, this shell will belong to. And for the uh, privilege escalation, they also have two ways. Uh, the the first way, I think, is a normal way. Uh, through the uh, okay, later I will uh, talk about uh, the privilege escalation. <coughs> I'm not sure how long we will wait for the collection from the target, but I think in minutes. I think the command is right. Yeah, command, I think it's right. We have already done all. Oh yeah, <laughs> finally we got the shell. So uh, some guy will say, uh, when they do this, uh, okay, we have now we have got the 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 shell of the funny, and we can need the content of this one. So what can we do is to. Of course, what we are going to do is to elevate our privilege. And uh, if we check the ID, uh, this user belongs to the LXD. So it means that we can elevate our privilege by the membership of a LXD. But uh, so next, I'd like to show you the first way to elevate our privilege. And uh, this is the when I did this virtual machine, 
This way is the how I did this virtual machine the first time, and also maybe I can show you the second way, uh, to elevate a privilege. So of course we can, uh, get the instruction how to make use of membership, LXT membership to elevate. I think I have already. And we can search the the bin. And uh, please, bin, help me to get uh, the instruction how to elevate a privilege. And then we, you know, <laughs> I cannot remember many many things. I just uh, use the some some existing resource. Okay, I think I found yeah this one. Okay, so now uh, we should uh, first should call clone from the GitHub, and we maybe we can uh, open up a new tab and paste the command here. Yeah, no problem. And uh, we can copy. Mm -hmm. We can go to, and we can copy to the home directory. And we can set up the HTTP server. Now we can upload the image, the container image. Yeah, the, okay, I need to open up another, yeah, this one, very long file name. So we just uh, copy and paste in here. No problem. And now what can we do is to import the the image. Okay. So we can LX image import and the anyers my image. But uh, it says the command could not be located because the snap bin is not included in the path environment variable. I think it will be very easy for us, right? We can append or prepend the this to our or original path environment variable. And now we can run this command again. I think this time should be good. Okay, no problem, I think. Now we can confirm image list. Yeah, we have already imported the image into the container management platform. And the next command we need to run is this one. Okay, we just uh, copy. Mm -hmm. What happened? It does work when I did uh, this virtual machine uh, the first time, but uh, I'm not sure what happened, what's happening. What's wrong? 
with this command. I think I just、uh, copy, right? Copy the command. Okay, I need to fix this issue first, and I'll I'll come back. Okay, I'll come back.、Uh, I just interrupt my my share of of, of the funny, but、uh, when I set up the、uh, the listener again, <laughs> this time we got the loot. We do not need to elevate our privilege. So I think、um, the backup sh share script is can be executed by two different users. The first one is funny, and the second one is loot. So. Uh, so this is the second way to elevate our privilege、uh, or get the loot share. But、uh, I can tell you,、uh, when I did this virtual machine, uh, uh, this way is my、uh, is my right way. I can get the loot、uh, loot share no problem uh, uh, by use of the LXD、uh, membership to elevate, and you can. Uh, go to this website for your for the exact steps how to elevate a privilege. Okay, so anyway,、uh, I do not want to repeat uh, these uh, steps uh, again. Uh, but uh, that's th I think、uh, we have already completed uh, this uh, virtual machine. But I can、uh, put the the write up in the、uh, description section below so you can see. Uh, how to do、uh, by this way? The first way, the、uh, by the LXT、uh, membership to elevate your privilege. Okay, so that's all I'd like to demonstrate in this video. Thank you. Bye.